Jiggle Jaggle Hop. Written by Libby Gleason and illustrated by D. Crichton. Narrated by Libby Gleason. Ben led us across the room, his arms waving. Jiggle Jaggle Hop. Jiggle Jaggle Hop. Jiggle Jaggle Jiggle Jaggle Jiggle Jaggle Stop. But we didn't. Stop, said Ben, louder this time. Bossy Boots Ben, he's our big brother. He says he's our babysitter, but we're not babies. We're big. We jiggled and jaggled away from him, all the way downstairs to the kitchen. We pressed our faces to the window. The sun was shining all over the yard. Our scooters were up against the cubby house, and Pixie and Pepper were barking at the magpies on the clothesline. <coughs> Bossy Boots Ben came up behind us. Mum said you have to do whatever I tell you. When I say stop, you have to stop. We want to go outside to play. It's too hot today. No, it's not. Anyway, we like it hot. We pulled off our singlet tops. We won't be too hot now. Yes, you will. Look at that sun, madcap Margot and ridiculous Rory. It'll burn you up like a barbecue. It will not. Ben thought for a bit. OK, but you have to get dressed properly. A hat on your head, sleeves on your arms and proper long pants to cover your legs. We ran back upstairs. I whispered to Rory. He burst out laughing. We headed to the dressing-up box in the corner of our room. These are our hats, said Rory. He held up one old one that Grandma used for gardening and another weird cap from Grandpa. And these are for our arms, I said. These long black gloves are Mum's old-fashioned fancy ones and a pair of bright yellow ones for washing up. Now for our legs. We pulled out everything. Old dresses of mum's, stripy trousers of dad's, things I'd never seen before. I tried on a pair of dad's pants. I slipped my legs in, but had to hold tight as they kept sliding down. Nothing would fit us. Bossy Boots Ben came in. Ha, ha, ha. If you really want to go outside, you'll have to do what I say. OK? We nodded. OK. He helped us scoop everything up and fill the box. Ben opened our wardrobe. He threw out two tops and watched us put them on. The sleeves came down to our wrists. Then he grabbed the pants that stretched almost to our ankles and the sun hats we wore when we went to the beach. OK, you jiggly jagglers, let's go. Yay! No, I said. You can't come. You have to stay inside. Look at what you're wearing. Ben looked down at his short shorts. His arms were bare out of his sleeveless T-shirt. We went into Ben's room. I opened his cupboard and pulled down a shirt with long sleeves. Rory got his beach hat from behind the door. Now you need some long pants, I said. Ben's jeans were on the chair. I held them up. How about these? I said in the most serious voice I could. Ben nodded. Thank you, but they'll be too hot. He opened his wardrobe and pulled out the cotton pants he wore at the beach. Time to jiggle and jaggle as we walk out the door, Ben said. And we're not ridiculous and madcap, I said. Ben rubbed his chin and declared, Just one last step as he spread sunscreen over our faces. And I'll have to give you new names, he said. How about... Uh, Remarkable Rory and Magical Margot? We went out into the sunshine. I grinned at him. And now you are best brother Ben.
A note from SunSmart. Protecting you and your family from the sun's UV is important to help prevent damage to the skin and eyes, sunburn and skin cancer. Australia has one of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world. You can't see or feel UV, so check the UV levels and daily sun protection times on the free SunSmart Global UV app. Whenever the UV is three or above, make sure the whole family is SunSmart. Don't just wait for hot and sunny days. It's important for children to be well protected from UV as their skin is very sensitive. It's also important they see adults in their life role modeling good sun protection behaviors. Be sun smart by using these five sun protection measures. One, slip on cool clothing that covers as much skin as possible. Two, slop on SPF 50 broad spectrum water resistant sunscreen to any parts of skin you can't cover with clothing. Three, slap on a sun protective hat that shades the face, neck and ears. Broad brimmed bucket or legionnaire hat. Four, seek shade. Five, slide on sunglasses labeled AS1067. For more information, visit BeSunSmart at cancer.org.au or call 13 11 20. For other languages, call 13 14 50. This book would not be possible without the generous support of the Lionel and Yvonne Spencer Trust.